Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and this is the day 9 of the service portal training. Today we'll talk about basically um, out-of-box widget, why out-of-box widget is needed, um, what are the benefits of the out-of-box widget and what all out-of-box widget provided by the service now. So we'll talk one by one today. So if you see that this is my portal training that uh, we are going to build that portal training, um, this um, portal. And here in the last session we talked about that widget reusability, like how we can create one widget and that can be reusable multiple times over the time and different by the different options by the um, data model. Now today we'll talk about first that um, what are all the out-of-box widgets are available in ServiceNow and how um, how beneficial for the um, out-of-box widget. So without wasting time, let's get started. So if, you, if I go back to my home page, so this is my, um, the home page, that portal, um, uh, you know, uh, training. And here, um, you know, that uh, if I go back and um, open the out-of-box widget, out-of-box portal. So let's open that SP, the out-of-box portal. So there are um, very uh, useful widgets that we have. So first thing first, um, I'll talk about that what all out-of-box widgets are there and then we'll try to add some of the out-of-box widget in our pages. So if you see here, this is my um, the website where I documented um, the out-of-box widgets and I mean all these portal training related things are documented here. So very first thing is that um, if you see there is a table, the left side we have mentioned the widget and then right side I have mentioned the pages. So some of the pages I, I or the, some of the widget I thought that this, they are useful out-of-box um, widgets and then some of the pages I thought that they are useful so I mentioned in the right side. So first uh, widgets I'm going to talk about the icon link. So icon link is a very useful um, that is provided by um, ServiceNow. So very first thing why we should use the out-of-box because out-of-box widget um, you know over the time period uh, they um, upgrade their out-of-box widget so you will get that better benefit without customization or without doing anything so if you get that out-of-box widgets you will get more benefit in the future but always it's not possible to use the out-of-box that's a separate thing but today we'll use the today we'll talk about the what all of the out-of-box widget we can use and those are the very um, you know simple one so first thing that we'll talk about the icon link so icon link is nothing but if you see these are the uh, widgets which is icon link where we can drag those widget and then provide that where should I redirect and it will be looks very beautiful wherever we need it actually. So let's try that um, for the icon link. So if I go back here and then uh, right click, uh, control and right click and go to the page designer. I'll go to the actual page designer and where I can drag that widgets here. We already discussed that. So first uh, widget I am going to track that is called icon link. So let's say that I'll search that icon link. Once I select that icon link, I will be able to track that widget right now. So this is out of box widget. So once I track that, there will be one uh, edit button. Like we need to pass some parameters so that it will be looks to some beautiful, to some text or something like that. So if I click edit options here, and, and um, I have to be put that, I mean, here is a type, which type of it is, um, on the icon is, okay. So let's say I'll select that catalog item here. And then here I need to select that catalog item name called Insider or something like that. So let's say report an issue. Report an incident. And then um, once you select that here, I have to type that title, report um, an issue, something like that. So bootstrap color, we have to select that. Uh, let's say that I'll click, uh, pull that uh, warning here. And then I'll, and then bootstrap color. If you want to select any bootstrap colors, you can select that. Um, you can select the glimpse call. I'll select the defect. Is there anything called defect or warning, something like that. I'll select any of these claims here. So I'll select this uh, this sign and then um, if you uh, want to select the template, which type of template um, you want to select that um, circle icon, a tab icon, color icon, there is a various um, option. So I have to be select that. Once I select that, um, you know, automatically this uh, 
page or these things will be built it and now if i refresh that my widget will be visible here so you can see the report and issue is visible right now so first thing that is visible i can put another one and let's say i will select i can link all get knowledge article so i'll click here So let's refresh that uh, our home page so you can see our home page is looks much better than earlier um so we drag two widgets and whenever we click that they are redirecting to particular catalog item they are redirecting to the particular knowledge base so since they are not redirecting i can see that id is getting blank so id is nothing but the page name which is getting blank i i can see these things are getting blank so what i'll do i will click here knowledge um, here and then select that SC cat item. I'll tell you that why I select that SC cat item, but um, I'll select at that moment. Now, if we refresh that our home page and uh, let's say if I click here, you can see um, we are actually going to that catalog item. Although we don't have that access to that particular catalog item, that's the reason we are getting there. Now, next thing I just want to talk about that one of the uh, widgets that we have is a simple list. So using that simple list, we can get that uh, come the list of the records. So the, the way we have designed our, or the way we are using our own, uh, building our own customized list, uh, the same thing um, we can do, or we can build through our, um, you know, that uh, simple list, we can drag that. So let's try to drag that. Before dragging that, I need to, you know, um, uh, Drag uh, one thing called six by six. Here I'll select that simple list in this, um, uh, let's say, the left side. And once we add that, I have to click the edit option. So simple list give you that opportunity to you can you know um, get the complete data. So what I'll do, I'll this is out of box again. So what I'll select that um, uh, incident. Probably and then if we want to put any filter we can put the filter. So let's say I'll put that active equal to true So these incident I just want to show here in my list in my page uh, That the uh, display value I'll select the default as a number secondary fields. I need to select that all short description um, probably and then caller so these will uh, will have that display uh, field and then um, here we have called uh, list page. I mean, whenever somebody click that, where should we go to that? I mean, it should be that form page. I will talk that this this part later. Behavior. If I select that, um, you know, um, which uh, which page I should be used. So I'll select that form here, and then here, which view I should use? The default view, uh, advanced view. Um, any any view if I want to uh, define that so let's say uh, I'll select the default and there are many other options we do have um, you can do that uh, round corner all those stuff so let's save that so once we save that you can see this is how it is rendering so it is showing all my um, all my act all actual um, you know active incident and it, here if you click that it is going to that particular uh, you know um, particular incident so that's how it is actually working. Uh, so it's pretty good, uh, good um, which is useful uh, for that. Now, next, um, I just want to talk about that a data table to the definition. Data, uh, we do have one, uh, um, you know, um, widget called data table um, from the URL definition. So what does it mean by that? That we'll talk about that. Apart from that, we do have a couple of important page called list and uh, form page, knowledge base, breadcrumbs, widgets. So these are the out of box. If you see here, I took the actual um, screenshot from the uh, service now pages and there are various um, out of box widgets that you can use. So like you can see. So two things you should remember that, um, you, know, you know, so when whenever we are opening a particular record, right? So whenever I'm clicking the incident record, we have a page um, called form page. This form page is very helpful. So this form page can, um, you know, uh, um, 
show you any particular record i mean um so you just need to be put that id equal to form then once you click uh, you need to pass the parameter table equal to particular incident number a particular table name and then particular series id these things if you three three things if you pass that the widget will be able to render that um, particular record so this form page is a one useful um you know useful a page uh, that you can guys can use for your um, uh, rendering any particular form so if you remember that in my task if i go back to the my task and if you click the open record it is actually going to that uh, you know uh, the same thing the form page so form page is nothing but one an important out of box form uh, page which is form page which allow you to render a particular table record so that's the one thing so instead of form if you just replace form uh, form to the ticket so this ticket page is a very helpful um, because using the ticket page you can act, this is ticket page is built for the end user so the way end users see it will be see that um, page as an end user so just you need to replace the form instead of form just need, need to be replaced with the ticket so that the user will be able to see that ticket um, ticket uh, kind of things where they will be able to only comments that and they will be see that some of these um, minimum information that is configured for that so form page ticket page also we do have a ccat item page so a ccat item page means nothing but so if you go back to any of this catalog item so if you go back to any catalog item if you want to show any catalog item uh, we probably have to use that ccat item and here we need to pass the sys id it will be able to render that for this catalog item might be this catalog item is a deactivated so for, for that reason it is not rendering so i'll go back to this scat item table so a ccat item is another page or another uh, you know out of box um, widget that you can use that uh, for your own purpose so let's search with that sys id So this is active false. That's the reason it is not showing there. I'll just active true. Now go back here and then once you click the report and um, issue, you will be able to see that actual this catalog item. So SC cat item um, page, um, that page is uh, ID equal to whatever will be there, that will be the page name. So SC cat item is one of the page. So similarly, we do have SC cat item underscore guide for order guide. So these are the very useful fish. Apart from that, we have a one very um, um, uh, beautiful call LF, list and form. So this page name is the LF, which is nothing but a list of form, where the left side, you will be able to select that um, any particular um, table name. So let's say I'll, I'll be able to select that uh, table equal to incident. Once I will select the incident, um, um, and then I will be able to see the list of incident. And once I select that uh, any record, it will be show that particular record details in the right side. So this is one of the page called uh, LF. One more, uh, we do have um, ID call uh, list, so which is nothing but, so which help you to uh, render the list of the record. Uh, here you need to table, uh, put the table name. So I, if from uh, I mean, list of incident, I can just change that ID to the list, where I'll be able to see the incident. You just change that table name equal to change underscore uh, request. You will be able to see that, change request data so this way i mean where we need actually whenever we need to hard code or show something we can use this kind of thing okay so we talk about that uh, l and f which is list and form we talk about the list we talk about the form we talk about the ccat item um and there are many other widgets you can explore that i'm just giving you the very useful and handy uh, widgets also, we have a two uh, two knowledge article um, uh, knowledge uh, article page. One is that if you go back to here, so this is KV underscore article. KV underscore article page will always have uh, CS ID, and if you scroll down, uh, there will be one more thing called copy permalink where you can get that permanent link. So maybe you check out your knowledge article, and again you publish that. In that time, you won't. This uh, if you open that uh, with the CS ID, you will get that old. Uh, knowledge article right so kv underscore article is the one page where uh, you need to pass the sys id but in another we do have a uh, page called kv underscore um, article where you need to pass that sys param equal to article number if you pass that 
I know in that case, uh, you don't need to pass the CSIT. It will be automatically rendered from the, um, you know, um, uh, this parameter. So I think um, that's all for today for out-of-box widgets, out-of-box page. If you have any question, let me know in my comment section. Thank you very much. Have a great day.